Starting in the top left corner, the first is a start menu. This takes us back to the start screen when you first open Scaffold Designer. This was covered in a previous video. Next is the Home tab. Within here we can save a file, perform a save as and also export to Quantify Web. Close closes the file. Email lets you email a PDF or drawing direct to another person. And Print Drawing lets you set up and print the drawing. Page setup is covered more in depth in another video. Title block allows you to edit the text within the title block, similar to an attribute editor within AutoCAD, and drawing options allow you to make configuration changes to the software. One feature that's worth looking at is under Advanced, checking Zoom on Roll within Telemouse. This lets you zoom in and out of the drawing easier. Moving on, we have Cut, Copy, Paste, Undo and Redo. We have Selection Options, Drawing Options and Formatting Options. We can export to a PDF and also export to AutoCAD. This can be done as a 2D page view, which will produce a 2D view in AutoCAD. A 3D scaffold model to AutoCAD, which creates a 3D model file, which opens in AutoCAD and can be rendered. And the final export is a 3D wireframe, which creates a wireframe, which can actually be taken in and be used for analysis software. The final button is a spell checker. Our next menu is a scaffold menu. In here, we can add new bays, connect to bays, copy the bay to one side, rejoin bays, delete bays, bullet materials, update the model, look at leg loads and part mods. We can change the size of the bay and actually the height of the bay. Side settings, bay details, change the plank direction, add ladders and add ties. Moving on to our structures menu, we can do more complex things in here. For instance, we could add a stair tower into our scaffold. We can convert a wall into scaffold, build scaffold inside a boiler, and build scaffold on the inside or the outside of a circular tank. Under the Join tab, we can change our selection tool back to a pointer, draw rectangles, ellipses, lines, freeform, and connectors. We have an option to find and replace, and also layer properties. We also have various selection options, and to the side of this, under Operations, we can join objects and subtract them from each other. So if we draw two rectangles, select them both, and then under Operations, Use Union, you can see they've both been joined into one entity. Likewise, we could draw another rectangle, once more select them both, and this time, under Operations, we're going to use Subtract. Next to this we have Edit Image, that allows you to edit insert an image, and Crop Tools, that let you crop that image. You have Text Options, Further Image Options, Inserting a CAD Drawing, Object, and Adding Hyperlinks. We can insert fields into text along with symbols and screen tips. You have a Spell Checker. We have options for formatting full line type and text. The next command allows you to convert lines into walls and also tanks into polygon walls. Finally, under this tab, we have functions to arrange objects within the drawing space. In the View tab, we can show rulers, grid lines, guides, page breaks, page tools, and scroll bars. We can zoom, fit to window, and fit to page width. We can toggle on and off our drawing stencil, our shape data, the size and position, pan and zoom, bay level editor, and the 3D view. Reset windows allows you to reset windows, for instance, if you've lost your 3D view. The visual aids field helps you set our snap and glue options as well as turning it on and off and setting the ruler and grid. Last of the menus is the help button. It takes you to Avantis Assist, help videos, you can contact us through here, and you can also check online for updates.